my family's porter stew recipe is rich and hearty. It's also ridiculously easy to make. Cut up some veggies, put them in a pot and let it go for a few hours. It's almost like having a cheat code to get something this tasty with so little effort. Please follow along as I share my family secret porter stew recipe. First of all, we need to prepare the vegetables and the meat. So start by peeling three carrots, slice them down the middle, lay them on the flat side down. Slice the carrot down the middle again to create quarters and cut these quarters into bite-sized pieces. Next, we need to work on the onions. So dice two onions into cubes by removing the root and the stem. Cut the onion in half and lay it on the flat side down. Then slice the onion crosswise, turn the onion and continue dicing into cubes. Now we need to peel and finally mince four small garlic cloves. We've made it all the way to the meat, so let's start by preparing the beef knuckle. You can also use shuck or another similar piece of meat. Start by removing the net. Afterwards, check if the meat can be broken down into smaller pieces. It will be easier to manage that way. Cut the beef knuckle into steaks and trim away any unwanted pieces. Then what's left to do is to cut this into chunks. And whatever you do, don't discard the trimmings. Instead, save them and use them as base for a stew or making stock. So we made it all the way to making the stew. So if you have a cast iron pot, this is a perfect time to use it. Add some oil, some butter, and then wait for the cast iron to get hot. We add the meat in stages, not to overcrowd the pot. I fried mine in two batches, for example. We also need to add color to the onions and carrots. After they've been sweated for a bit, you can add the garlic. Stir the vegetables for a moment, but be quick. Prevent the garlic from burning, then add 5 deciliters of porter beer. Once that's done, you can also add 6 deciliters of water, followed by the beef and its juices. So before we allow the stew to simmer for at least 3 hours, there's a few more ingredients we need to add. Begin by adding 3 tablespoons of black currant jelly. Next, we need to add 2 deciliters of port wine or black currant concentrate, half a deciliter of light soy sauce and half a deciliter of dark soy sauce. Now we can also add 6 dried juniper berries and 6 peppercorns together with a teaspoon of thyme. And this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Now it's time to cover the pot and simmer the stew for 3 hours over low heat. While we wait, how about you hitting that subscribe button? It would greatly help me since my channel is new. We can of course also check in on the stew. When the beef is falling apart almost on its own, the stew is ready. The small pieces of onion will have merged with the sauce, making it thick and robust. All that's left to do is to add some cornstarch along with 1 deciliter of heavy cream. This step is optional and you can substitute the cream with water if you prefer. Now is also a great opportunity to taste for seasoning, so add salt or pepper to your liking. I'm serving this alongside golden mashed potatoes, but you can also enjoy it with rice. And if you're still here, smash that like button and be sure to enjoy this delicious porter stew. Have a good one.